colder conditions will become more widespread as we head towards Christmas and probably beyond as well. This is your fleeting view from MWIS, the charts for the next few days. Here's Monday, a real tangle across Britain, various fronts passing eastwards. The most complicated part of the story is across England and Wales, where there's relatively mild air that's moving in from the southwest, that's bringing low cloud, rain and drizzle across Wales, the Peak District, Pennines and Lakes as we go through Monday, tending to break off a bit from the west. Across Scotland, a slightly different story. We're in chillier air here. We've got a bit of an occluded front or trough coming in from the west, and that's going to produce some heavy falls of snow and some hail and maybe a rumble of thunder mixed in amongst all that across the westernmost mountains through the day. Now that tending to advance further eastwards and set in a bit more widely across the western half of the highlands in the afternoon. So the threat of snow setting in rather heavily here. Eastern side of the highlands, you're more likely to stay generally drier. Let's run the sequence onwards then as we head through towards the Christmas period. We've got various little complications of lows moving through across the south of Britain over the next few days. Tuesday is fairly straightforward towards the north. A chilly westerly flow with some showers of snow and hail coming into western Scotland. Largely dry the further east you go. Further bits of rain and drizzle coming up across England and Wales may not amount to a great deal but just the risk of turning a bit heavier across the Brecon Beacons. That little area of low pressure starts to wind itself up as we go through into the early hours of Wednesday and with colder air sinking southwards across Britain we've got the scope for some snowfall across uh, the Pennines, Lake District and maybe into the south of Scotland. A lot hinges on just how far north or south this frontal zone will lie by the time we get into Wednesday daytime. The low itself is likely to be somewhere further south with fairly mild air and some rain in amongst it colder air across Scotland with most likely just a few snow showers across the northern half of the highlands. Further southwest across the highlands, chances are you're in for a dry and a bright day, but a cold one with temperatures and freezing levels lowering to leave much of the terrain frozen. It's the northern side of that frontal band across northern England that has the greatest scope for some snow and locally that may well fall to lower slopes if it does just turn heavier. One to watch for Wednesday. Threat of gales as well, east or northeasterlies across uh, the northern flank of that low. Now onwards into Thursday, Christmas Eve, things become a bit more straightforward as that low departs toward the south. Higher pressure begins to build in from the Atlantic and it's uh, a chilly, bright day for many places on Christmas Eve. A few snow showers and flurries coming down from the north, uh, many places likely to be dry. Much terrain will be frozen by this stage. Anywhere that's been sheltered overnight will see frost. And that frost will be widespread as we go into Christmas Day itself as the high just topples in. A very cold start to Christmas morning is likely widely across Britain. Now a westerly wind is expected to strengthen as we go through Christmas Day. Just how soon that gets in is all dependent on how soon the high just uh, topples a bit further southwards. Much of the daytime dry, the risk of some precipitation coming on to the West Highlands later as that uh, westerly wind does strengthen, starting off with some snow and maybe just turning a bit more to rain or sleet lower down. Any milder air though looks short-lived because as we go towards Boxing Day, chilly westerly winds are expected to be in charge. Uh, something of a cold front trying to slip southwards looks a windy day as we go into Boxing Day. The threat of widespread gales or severe gales across the mountains if uh, the timing of all this goes as currently planned. The threat of uh, heavy rain or upland snow increasingly so as we go through the day coming down from the northwest and that generally colder northwest of the air mass may well then stay with us as we go through the weekend and onwards towards New Year. We shall watch that very carefully and keep you right up to date. That's been your fleeting view. Thanks for watching.